back a naturopath. What happens if your urinary tract infection doesn't go away after you've had antibiotics? What should you do? Should you go and talk to the neighbor? You go and talk to the prime minister? You go and talk to the doctor? Who do you talk to? What do you do? Are you scared? Well, one of the first things I would do um, if I had a urinary tract infection, I'd be looking at natural means to get rid of it. I'd probably go back and get a urine culture and I may even go to another clinic and get a test for a yeast infection to make sure it's not candida or a yeast problem. Uh, you may also um, want to get properly checked out, get a stool test and a more advanced urine test done to see. You'll probably end up maybe even at the urologist or you know the urinary kind of person who's going to do more in-depth examination. When I get patients in with urinary tract infection that repeats, that keeps coming back, I tend to really get them in my room or you know, on Skype when I used to see patients and try and find out what the obstacles to cure are. I call them obstacles to cure, meaning there's some barrier, there's some block, there's something there stopping that person's immune system from kicking in and getting rid of this infection. Now, the stuff I'm going to tell you, you may think I'm crazy. A lot of people do anyway, but it's absolutely true. I've seen several, several women with urinary infections, interstitial cystitis and urinary tract infections and uh, you know, dyspareunia, which is painful intercourse and these sorts of things. When I stripped the case down and looked at it, I found there was a problem. It was a problem at work for the person. It was a problem in the relationship for the person. They hated their boss. They had some sort of intimacy issues. Um, often there was anxiety involved and high stress. So we're looking at a, probably a smart person, clever person, are put under pressure and high stress. And that often involves them making different types of decisions regarding what they eat, what they drink. Sometimes alcohol's involved. Sometimes it's medication with prescribed or recreational drugs. There can be all sorts of scenarios. So what I'm saying is you need to, if, you've, if you are watching this and you've got recurring UTIs, a good idea is to spend some time with someone and talk through different problems that you've got. Okay, just talk them through. So medical doctors haven't got time for that. They've got like five minutes and they've got one hand on the doorknob while they're talking to you, literally looking at the screen to see who's in the waiting room. So they've got no time to discuss issues like that with you. This is why patients often pay money and go and spend an hour with someone like me so they can discuss things more openly and privately and you know get to the bottom of problems. Because remember, it's not just about pills and bacteria, all right? We've actually got stuff in here. We've got emotions, we've got feelings, we've got a nervous system, we've got a stress axis. We've got parts of our body that intricately entwine, entwining stress and emotions with our immune function. So if the immune function is not kicking into gear, it may not be a lack of antibiotics that are causing the problem. It could be a lack of intimacy. It could be, a, as, a, as I said, it could be some underlying issue there that needs. And I can tell you something else. I've seen a few cases of UTIs disappear in women when they moved to another country or when they got a job or when they got rid of their partner or, and then all of a sudden the problem went away, right? So it just shows you often there are underlying issues that people never discuss with medical people. They don't want to discuss them for one of many reasons. But yeah, when you talk about problems and you share them and you open up and you think about it and you find a solution, the stress axis tends to okay, drop down, immunity can come up and the problem is sorted. And this happens a lot. You know? So the question was, what if my UTA doesn't go, UTI doesn't go away after antibiotics? Well, as I said, you need to go back to the doctor, more examinations, but don't make the mistake of going on more antibiotics again and again and again, you know? Stronger ones. Well, we'll give you some top shelf stuff now. This will really knock it out. Hang on, where are we? Here, get this stuff down off that shelf. Give it to that person. Next thing, the person's back in two weeks with bloating, with diarrhea cramping, tummy pains. Oh, it's not, the, it's not the antibiotics. No, they don't cause that problem. No, probably that Kentucky Fried Chicken you had or something like that. You know, they pass it off to everything. So don't make the mistake of recurring, 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 recurring antibiotics. These are like payday loans, okay? They don't work, all right? You need to find the cause. And the cause may be physical, 
maybe emotional, could be psychological, but there's something there that needs fixing. Thanks for tuning in.